your name? Mateys. I'm Captain Webbox. Savvy? What's your purpose? And no lies. Alrighty then, I confess. It has been my intention to come here and steal all of your callback data. And also to let you know that webhooks are just regular endpoints. I said no lies. I think he's telling the truth. You know what I think you mates need? MPM rum. Get it mates? Run, but with an M? Mates, I'm Captain Webhooks. Savvy? What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Before we hit the computer and start coding, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like if you're enjoying the content, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. Now in this video we are focusing on TikTok API webhooks. This has been a highly requested topic. You guys have wanted to know how they work, how to implement them, and I'll be doing exactly that in this video. What are webhooks? Simply put, webhooks are callback URLs, they're endpoints, and TikTok will notify these endpoints in real time when a user does something like publishes a video. TikTok will send a notification to your endpoints saying, hey, this user posted a video. This way we don't have to pull TikTok and ask TikTok what's going on. TikTok will let us know what's going on. As always, links are in the description below. Do things like the GitHub repository, documentation. We got Bubbles merch. It's on Printify. Go check it out. Support the channel there. Don't forget to join the Discord. Join the community. Keep an eye out for live streams on Twitch, YouTube, all the platforms. Hope to see you guys there. With that, I'll see you on the computer. What is up everyone? Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going over the TikTok API webhooks. We'll be adding the webhooks product to our app, the callback URL, and testing the callback URL. So we'll be getting data back from TikTok, an example payload of what it looks like when TikTok sends our webhook a notification. We begin by getting set up over at developers.tiktok.com. Manage apps. We're going to go to our sandbox app here, Bubble Sandbox. Click on the sandbox tab up here so we know that we're in sandbox mode for our app. And we're going to scroll down here to the add product section. We're going to add the product, select webhooks right here. Add. Done. Now this little webhook section shows up here where we can specify our callback URL. This is the callback URL that TikTok will send notifications to whenever an action is triggered by a user on TikTok. Over in the documentation, integration essentials, webhooks. Webhook is a subscription that notifies your application via callback URL when an event happens in TikTok. Rather than requiring you to pull information from the API, you can use webhooks to get information on events that occur. Notifications are HTTPS posts in JSON format to the callback URL that you set in your app in the developer portal. Requirements, the callback URL must do the following, respond with a 200 code, and the endpoint must use HTTPS. I did test this out with localhost guys, it does not work, so at least for now you do need to have a live website on HTTPS. Webhook events. Webhooks lets you subscribe to events and receive notice when an event occurs. By default, you are subscribed to all events when a callback URL is configured, so you don't need to go in and you know select boxes on what events you want. By default, you just get all of them. Here's an example payload that we're looking to get back. What we're really looking for here is the event. We have video upload failed, video published dot completed. So when a user completes a publish. Now that we are fully caught up on the documentation, let's head back to our app and get our callback URL set up right here. For the callback URL, I'm going to use my website blog code TikTok API, and we're going to create a new file there called webhooks. And so I'm opening up the webhooks.php file on my server that I just created at the path we just specified for the callback URL, justinstolpe.com slash blog code slash TikTok API slash webhooks.php. This is the file right here that TikTok will ping whenever they want to notify us via our webhook. Now all we need to do is go to our GitHub repository, the TikTok API PHP SDK right here. Click on the wiki tab. The documentation is right here for all of our endpoints and we're gonna look at the webhooks. Here is the webhooks, little description of the webhooks and getting the payload data is right here. All we need to do is copy the snippet and the SDK will take care of all of the heavy lifting for us. Paste that right in here. And of course we need to require the SDK before we can use it. Then we're going to use our webhooks class from the SDK to create a new webhook right here. And all we have to do is call the get JSON payload data function from our webhooks class in the SDK, and we'll get back a nice PHP array of our JSON data. Now after this line, you have the webhook data and you can do whatever you want with that data. For this video, we're going to make it look nice and just write out to file so we can make sure we're capturing the data. Pretty data equals JSON and code webhook JSON data with our JSON pretty print. Now it's going to look nice when it writes it out to the file. File put contents. We're going to call this webhooksdata.json. 
and write our pretty data right to that file. Now our webhook endpoint is set up. Back in our app, we're ready to test the callback URL. Click the test button over here. TikTok will let us know it's gonna send a test event to our callback URL right here. We're gonna click send. We should get a 200 response, and then we'll see the payload here. Now this payload is what we should see written to our webhook's JSON file. The event for this is a tiktok.ping event. It's just pinging our webhook as a test event. Browsing our server now, we should see a new file, webhooks underscore data.json. Let's edit that file, and there's our body, just like it's displayed in the browser. We made it look nice and pretty so it's readable in the file. Now we know our webhook endpoint is successfully set up and it's ready to receive data from TikTok. Now what we're going to do is test a live event, a video publish event. In order for the webhook to fire off, we need to publish through our app with the video publish endpoint. If you guys missed the video where we went over how to post photos and images to TikTok with the API, go check that out because now once we post those videos and images and we are subscribed to the webhook, TikTok will send us a notification that those posts have been published. I'm gonna create another file here, webhooks video publish, right alongside my webhooks.php file that we just created here. Back to our wiki on GitHub. Now we're going to do a direct post from URL. Copy this whole snippet here. This is the posting snippet. We also need our require and our user access token, which is coming from our defines file, which we also need to require. I'm gonna update these params with some values here. Going over this quickly, we already created a video for this. We have our title here. Let's update TikTok API PHP video from URL. Let's say webhooks test. We have our MP4 URL, which is gonna be posted to TikTok. Then we have our publish. Let's print out our publish. And let's update our webhooks here. Let's create a new file. Let's say webhooks data video publish. Now when we're on the script right here, our video should be posted to TikTok and TikTok should send a payload to our callback URL because we are subscribed to webhooks through our app and through our app we have posted a video. Now when we run our webhooks video publish.php file, we get a response back. We get our publish ID right here. So the video has been posted to our TikTok account. Heading over to TikTok, we have our most recent video right here. Webhooks test TikTok API PHP SDK video test from URL post. But what we really care about here is checking to see if our webhooks data video published.json file got created and our JSON data got written to that file. We're going to check our server scrolling down here and there it is. Webhooks data video published JSON edit that file and we should see our payload. Here is our payload. Our event type is post publish no longer publicly available and that is probably because in our script here we specified self only. So that's why we get that event. And then we get the content here, which is the publish ID, publish type, and we have the post ID. We have now confirmed that our webhooks are in fact working. We have tested them with the test URL functionality in the app dashboard, which is fine. We knew that was working, but it's also nice to test and make sure that it works when you actually publish a video to an endpoint, which we have verified right here. And that is how you set up webhooks with the TikTok API. I hope this video helped you guys, and I hope you learned something from this video. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.